Hey world, Chippy Trevi. So we're up to part three of building the little tiny D9 uh, high track dozer. And where I've got to, uh, where I've got to at the moment is I've got the top deck on. That sort of went on pretty well. It's starting to get a little bit of weight into the model now. Uh, the door's off at the moment because I'm just flipping it upside down and it just keeps coming off. And I probably shouldn't have uh, put the uh, machine gun on top as I'm tipping everything upside down. As you can see, I've got most of the track gear on. Now, what I've done, so I put all this together, but I didn't glue any of the rollers into place. And believe me, this was a uh, task in its own getting this all together. I actually had to use rubber bands quite a lot. And then I realized, uh, I'll show you in a minute about the tracks. When I put all the tracks on, none of this moves anyway. So if you're ever gonna build this model, my suggestion is just glue your rollers into place. It saves all the heartache and about an hour's work just trying to get them to stay where they belong. So uh, anyway, that's all on. So it's just getting pretty heavy now um, and starting to come along nicely. So where am I at the moment? Oh my God, oh my God. The guy that designed this track gear, I actually want to kill him. So this is your track gear here, right? So you've got all these little links here and then you've got your top grouses that are going afterwards. Now, the way you have to join these, I'm going to try and film, but I don't know how I'm going to go. There's yesterday's effort, and believe me, that took about two hours. It took me really 20 minutes how to work out how to put the whole lot together. So what you do is you join all these ones together. Have These ones have pins on them, and these ones don't. So what you do is you have to line up three with the pins, join it, join it, join it. Then you get the other little ones, which don't have any pins, and you've got to slide them over that is there and then you can't glue them into place until you've got the next track and that's put in over top and glued all the way along so you've got to go three links down two links three links two links there's 43 of these on each side and when you get these links together then you got to glue your grouses on top and the other thing i'm a bit nervous about putting it on is because it's a high track this is somehow got to go in over like that and then you've got to be able to bend it into shape. And I don't know how much bend I'm going to get. Normally, the only other two track gears I've done were the, uh, the army tank ones. And I had to do all of them while the glue was wet to mold them into shape. Now, I've got 43 of these links to do. And while the glue is wet, manage to get them in here and shaped right. and also get the grousers on. So they've got to go in there and then I'm gonna to have to bend that. Actually goes in right in there. This is not gonna be an easy job. Then I have to bend that all the way around without breaking anything. So, and as you see, there it is there. It's moving, but I, there, it's moving. So I'm not really looking forward. Like that was about two hours yesterday. 20 minutes was at least spent trying to figure out how to even join these links. So now I've got to lay out all my links in a line, put all the little ones on top, work out where the 43 link joiner is. You get a special one here, which is your joiner left and right. And that's 43 links both sides, each side, sorry, each side. So I've got about 46 links to join like this and I have to do it under this now see how it go I'll, uh, I'll try and put a couple together and show you how I've got to do it first I've got to make sure my glue is ready to go make sure my straw is clean which is is not and I'll show you how to clean this clean the straw okay so what happens is with your straws they fill up full of glue and they go hard and they dry. And thanks to the little guy, the young guy over at uh, Gainer Gem Shop where I started buying the first couple of models, he taught me this. Heat your straw up. Get a flame out the end, get it nice and hot. And what this does, it burns all the glue out. I was dipping in water so I caught it down. There I have a clean straw to use. Now also when you uh, 
my glue bottle is practically empty. So right here, let's see. I'm turn my light on here as well. Let's join a couple of these links together. I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got to work under a microscope. Sorry, I've got to work under a... Um, Right, so first job is I need to get, I don't know if you see this properly. So the first job is I've got to get these ones out. Then I've got to slip him over that. Oh, come on. Slip that one over there like that. Then get another one and put it over there like that. And if you think this is going to be a long video, just showing this, well it is, because this is how time consuming this is. So they go on there like that. Come on, sit for me. We'll do three. So I'll put three in a line, like so. I don't know how steady my hands are going to be this morning. And then we get these little pieces here. And we slip them into place one at a time. And I'm just going to make sure I get it the right way around. So this one has to go into the link before, into there. Like so. And before I can glue that into place, I have to put the next link on. Same way. So I've got to get two links on. Now I can glue it into place. Now where's my tweezers? Where are my tweezers? Come on. I can't do this job there. I can't do this job without my tweezers. So I've got to do this all under magnifying glass. Join those two. Join those two. Come on. It's a very slow process. Now before I can go any further, I've got to get this other link back on. Two there. But I can't glue them together yet. I can glue that bottom one there, and I can glue that one there into place using my tweezers. And now I've got to put another three links on this side. One. <coughs> Excuse me. working this morning. This is being a pain. I was getting better at it yesterday, so oh, okay, so as you can see this is very, very fiddly. That link's moved out of position. I need to get that link on. Next link on. And then I can put this link on. And that one slips over there like so. That one will eventually go on there. But before I can put that next, glue that next one into place, I have to put the next link on. So this is a very, very oh, slow process. And I'm all thumbs this morning. Don't know what's going on there, but I'm definitely all thumbs. That one's 
just going to go into there. Come on. I was doing much better at this yesterday than I am today, that is for sure. Right. Now, I can glue that first link back together again. So we've got one on there, that on there, glue that. That one goes there, join those two. And you do have to make these exactly like perfect and join together because if you don't, you won't be able to get your grousers on. And they've got little, like there's your top part of the grouser, they've got little holes under there that have to line up. On the top of these, you've got little dimples and they've got to line up with that. So as you can see, that I've got two links on, or three links joined. And I don't know how long that just took me. But it is a very, very slow process. And before you can go too far, you really have to wait until the glue dries a little bit to keep everything together. I'm even going to put a little bit more glue on that one. There we go. So it's all done under, micro under a magnifying glass with a light on it. Because I need to do it under a magnifying glass with a light on. My eyes are shit. I've also got a pair of Times 250 glasses on. Because I'm blind. There's a bat without them. So there. So whoever designed... So whoever designed these uh, joiner links, well actually... Caterpillar designed the links, but whoever designed this model done it exactly the way Caterpillar pretty much put them together, and it's a nightmare of a job. Now, the other thing I had a problem with um, is getting, come over here, is getting your hydraulic lines on. And on the end of these ones, well, there's a couple of nipples here, and there's a couple of nipples under there. I tried to glue lines on, but the minute the glue got onto this part here, it just it melted the nipples straight off. Like the plastic, the, the glue, some of the things about the glue. There were some nipples just on this little piece here where you attach the lines and they were supposed to run under and come out here underneath. So these nipples here, I went to glue my lines on and when I came back later to trim the lines and reroute them, they'd all fallen off because the glue had actually melted the plastic clean off, the styrofoam plastic. So but anyway, this is where we're at at the moment. The door will go... Oh, and there we go. There's a roller. There's a roller just popped out. I've got to go and glue all these rollers into place before I muck around too much because I've got to handle this a lot. Try and get the track gear on. So I'm going to glue all these rollers into place just to stop them falling out. I can leave the front spin, but basically, uh, once the track's all on there, nothing's going to move anyway. So you're better off just save yourself the heartache. Like I said, I spent about two hours putting all the shit together yesterday, and the rollers just kept falling out and holding it into place with rubber bands trying to get the rollers in. It was, uh, yeah, it was a fairly intense job. So, but anyway, so the door's off for now. I'll put that back on later. I've got, I've got another roller up there, so I'm missing two rollers out of these tracks already. So the door will go back on later. I've still got a fair bit to finish, uh, and then it's to the main blade. So, and she, yeah, she's starting to get a little bit of weight into it, which is really nice. So, anyway, world, I'll get back to you later. Uh, hopefully, I might film putting the track on or I think I probably won't film it putting it on because uh, the amount of language involved in getting that on yeah anyway you get the drill so already I will so I'll catch you a bit later well I reckon it's going to be a lot later it's going to take me all day pretty much because I can only sit here for so long and put so many links together and I've just got to go and walk away have a cup and then come back so I'm probably looking at it all day just trying to get these two um, track getting the two track gears actually made up and then somehow attached to the dozer. This is gonna be an all day job just doing that. So there's 43 links either side. They give me, I have five of these trees and I've counted up and there's more than that many links here. So basically it's all gonna be trial and error to exactly how many links it takes. I'm gonna to have to sort of make that, wrap it around the track, sorry, wrap it around the um, track gear 
then I've got to go and put all my little grousery things on and try and line all them up and then somehow bend all this into shape. So, as you can see, there's like two hours work just putting that together right there, two hours. I can probably speed it up a bit later, but like I said, I've still got to wait for the glue to dry before I go too far, otherwise the links just all start falling apart and then you end up in chaos and a mess. So, as I said, I'll get back to you guys later when I've got a fair bit more of this done, but I'm here for probably the rest of the day uh, just trying to get this sorted out. And as far as the boat's concerned, uh, someone gave me the great idea of putting uh, bicarb soda in the, uh, in the water supply or in the radiator, which I've done. I've done two runs on that and it's immediately uh, brought the temperature way down. It hasn't gone past the needle anymore. I'm going to give it a few more doses and drives and a few more doses and drives. kind of in the naughty corner again because, uh, you know, I just like being naughty. So it's probably a couple of days before I even get to that. I've got water pump gaskets. They've arrived. So I'm still probably going to pull the water pump off and give it a good flush But so far, whoever gave me the idea, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, of putting bicarb soda in there, thank you so much. What a great idea. Sometimes the simplest things are really are just the best. So, rightio, later.